Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in this video, we are going to be doing a kind of continuation of me changing all of my ear piercings. If you guys have not seen that video, make sure that you do check it out. I literally just finished doing it, which is why my ear is all red. But this video is going to be me changing my conch piercing for the very first time. Time. Now, I wanted to make this video separate from changing all my other ones just because this is my newest piercing and I really wanted to film my reaction for changing it for the very first time. So that's kind of why they were separate. I know if that doesn't really make sense to some of you, it makes sense to me and it's kind of like a thing that I've always done here on my channel. So that is what we're going to be doing today. I am super nervous and I'm already a little angry because I tried for literally 15 minutes to try to get the ball on the lower part of my roof piercing and I cannot get it to save my freaking life. So I'm gonna have to try later to get the ball on that one. But other than that, everything went great. So I'm hoping the conch piercing, you know, switch out goes a lot smoother. I'm really, really hoping that it does. So basically this is what the conch piercing is, this really, really long jewelry that you're seeing in here. Um, I, have, I got this done on my 24th birthday back in August, so it's been about five, six-ish months, I'm pretty sure. And there's no pain anymore, there's no swelling, obviously, as you can see, as the bar is very, very long. Um, I'm having no issues with it. Really, the only issue that I'm struggling with my conch piercing is that since the bar is so incredibly long now, I find that it's catching on my hair, it's catching on my pillows, on my scarves, like it's just getting in the way because the jewelry is just way too long. And I told you guys the ultimate goal that I have for my conch piercing is to change it into a hoop. Well, I finally found one. It is the exact same gauge. It is a 14 gauge and it kind of looks like this as you are seeing right here. This is just a 14 gauge um, matte black CBR ring and I got this from my mall at Extreme Body Body care or extreme body gear I'm sorry and uh, basically here's what the jewelry looks like it is the exact same gauge I'm hoping the length is enough she said that this one would be enough so we're just gonna kind of have to see I'm already getting a little nervous so yeah I don't know we'll see I did my makeup at 4 o'clock this morning for work and it is currently um, 7 o'clock at night so it's pretty late so that's why my face is looking a little bit ugh and I have like a new little friend moving in with me. I'm gonna go wash my hands, wash the jewelry, and we can go ahead and begin. Okay, so I moved up a little bit closer and I have the jewelry and hands all nice and washed. So basically, CBR just has the ball. You kind of pop it out a little bit like this. First thing we're gonna do is take out the old jewelry. And I'm just going to take a tissue so I can get a better grip on the ball. Okay, so that came off pretty easy. I'm just gonna tilt my head down this way so gravity will make the ball fall out of my ear rather than inside my ear. All right, so I got the ball off. Um, my ear is going to be turning very, very red, but there's absolutely no pain whatsoever. So um, what I'm gonna quickly do is take out my third lobe piercings just so I have more room to kind of mess around without running into anything. So what I'm going to do next is I'm just going to very lightly pull it out from the back like that. Again, absolutely no pain. So there's the barbell. Next, I'm just going to take a Q-tip and a little sea salt solution and I'm just going to clean the inside of the piercing and the back of it as well just to kind of clean it up a little bit in case there was anything like trapped in there or you know if you have ear piercings you know how it goes and this also kind of helps lube up the area for when I do change my piercings so I'm just gonna get all in there get it all nice and clean and we are ready okay So now all I'm doing is after I find the hole, I'm just very lightly, very carefully, just feeding it through like that. Woo! We did it! Yay! This is going a lot better than my fucking rook piercing, oh, let me tell ya. So there we go, we changed it, it is in there. Now the hardest part, again, with these fucking balls is trying to get the 
ball over top. Now, I'm very sorry for how red my ear is. Nothing bothered me whatsoever. Um, I didn't even really feel it go through. So this is honestly putting the ball on is going to be the hardest part. So what I'm going to do is the CBR rings, little balls have little grooves in them, as you can see right there a little bit. And what helps me the most is if I match one of the grooves up, the other one should just kind of pop right in. So that's kind of what I'm going to try to do here. Yeah, and this is like ridiculously hard to do. I hate CBR so much, but they look so cool. So I'm just going to try to match the groove up. And then every time you think you have it, you don't. Like, it, it's awful. So <laughs> we're just going to keep trying this. Okay, so the plan now, I'm going to let my ears rest for a while, obviously, because I've been playing with them for the last hour, and so they're very, very red. Nothing hurts, nothing is sore, um, just red. So basically what the plan is now is since my conch piercing is still fairly new as far as like cartilage piercings go, because they can take up to a year to fully heal, um, every day I'm basically just going to be seat salt, seat... Oh my gosh, sea salt soaking it a little bit just to make sure that everything stays nice and clean um, while the new jewelry is kind of like settling in. There is the new conch piercing jewelry. That went way smoother than I thought it was going to go to be perfectly honest with you and I'm pretty happy with it. So that is basically everything that I have for this video. That is everything, so make sure to give a huge thumbs up. Don't forget to go down and subscribe to my channel, but as always, I will see you guys very soon in my next video, and hopefully I don't have this big ass zit, because that's disgusting. Okay, I'm gonna go now. I love you guys. Bye!